What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at my favorite course on statistics. Now before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Udemy. You guys know that I absolutely love Udemy. I have learned so many things and taken so many courses on their platform. Be sure to check them out. I have a page where you can look at every single course that I recommend on topics like SQL, Excel, Python, Tableau, and more. And we are going to be looking at one of the courses that I recommend today. So huge shout out to Udemy. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. So something that I get asked all the time is, Alex, do I need math and statistics to become a data analyst? And my answer is almost always no. I think at the beginning, you really don't need it as much as knowing some of the more technical skills like SQL, Python, Tableau, Excel. But as you get further along in your career, statistics it does start to become more important. And so I think that learning it and knowing it is a really, really important part of becoming a really good data analyst in the long term. Now, I know that math and statistics can be a little bit intimidating at first, especially if you know that you're not very good at it. And so you tend to kind of push that off and not want to learn it. I know I am guilty of that big time. But I know that if I was able to learn it, you will absolutely be able to learn it. And the course that we're going to look at today was one that I took and I think it is a fantastic course. It was one that I was really intimidated to take. I didn't think that I was going to be able to really understand the concepts and understand it and apply it to my job. Um, but I really was able to do that with this course. So I'm not going to drag this out any longer. Let's look at the course and see what it is. As you can see on your screen, it is called Statistics for Data Science and Business Analysis. The cost is $60, but if you use a coupon, it'll go down to $13.99. In the description, I'm going to provide a coupon that worked for me that I was testing out just today just to make sure that it works, that you guys could have it. I don't know how long that one will last, so there is a coupon in the description. There's also the link to this course in the description, so check that out if you want to take this course. Um, but let's get into the actual course and see what kind of things you're going to learn. So really quickly, let's look at the different sections of this course. You have a quick introduction. Uh, then it talks about the difference between a sample and a population. Then you go into the fundamentals of descriptive statistics. Then you look at measures of central tendency, asymmetry, and variability. Uh, then it gives you a bunch of practice examples. So you actually get to test out all these things that you're learning. Uh, then you go over distributions, estimators and estimates, confidence intervals. Um, and these are the more advanced topics, as it says. Practice examples of inferential statistics. I personally thought this was the hardest one, but again, if I can get it, you can get it. I promise you. Uh, then it goes into hypothesis testing. Uh, hypothesis testing, where you actually get to try these things um, and put them into a real project. Uh, then it goes into some more testing, um, but then it gets into the regression analysis. Regression analysis is super important. If you've never really looked into statistics for a data analysis or data science or anything like that, regression analysis is very popular. And so it is very good to know. And this course does a really good job at going through that. Talks a little bit more about regression analysis. And then uh, we're going to look at categorical data and how to deal with that. And then at the very end, you have a practice example for regression analysis. Now, if you've never done any statistics with actual data before, these calculations can be very intimidating. Uh, again, I use that word because that's how I felt. Uh, you may not feel that way, but this stuff looks very, very confusing. Uh, the thing that I love most about this course right here is it makes it super, super simple. And he uses really good, simple examples and how to actually walk through these so that you can understand them. And then you get to practice them afterwards, typically in a small practice example or a quiz. I personally found this extremely useful. I didn't know it at the time, but in a previous job, I was actually doing a lot of this stuff. I just didn't know what it was called. And so it was really funny when I started taking this course after I'd had my very first job as a data analyst, uh, I actually was using a lot of these different calculations to get my work done. And so I didn't even know what I was doing. I just was doing it. And so now that I could actually make some sense of it and understand it, it became a lot more useful. And so this really helped me put into perspective some of the work that I was doing, but also gave me a lot of ideas for some more advanced things that I could be doing as well. Now, I'm really not going to go super in depth into everything that you're going to learn in this course. I feel like if you don't know statistics super well, me walking through each of the things that you're going to learn really won't make a huge difference. But as you're walking through this course, it starts out super simple and goes even to the more advanced concepts and it's all done in Excel or on some type of like PowerPoint. 
So it's not really that difficult. You don't have to download any special software. As long as you have Excel, you can do everything that they do in this video. So to go back to something that I was talking about earlier, when somebody asks me where they can learn math and statistics, I almost always point them to this course right here. And that's because I have taken it, I have come back to it time and time again, and I've learned a lot of things from this course, as well as actually used it in my job. And so I know it's actually applicable. It's not just something that you're gonna take and never ever use again. This is something that I promise everyone who becomes a data analyst or a data scientist, they will use something in this video, whether they know it or not, uh, but knowing it and understanding what you're actually doing is extremely beneficial. And I came to learn that kind of the hard way or later on uh, in my career. And so I'm glad that I took this course. I'm really glad that I can share it with you. I hope that if you take it, you can really understand the concepts and you really apply it to your career. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.